It is so cool to chat with you this morning. Thank you for the time. Oh, thank you very much. I was just, uh, I was just saying, like, welcome to my mom and dad's place. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in a hotel, so you know, here we are. <laughs> you feel like you're in the future, which I really like. <laughs> <laughs> so. You know, I love the fact that you're playing a character that we've never really seen fleshed out in in anything before. Uh, William H. Bonnie's mom, like, it's an amazing story that we get at the beginning to really flesh out who and and what he was. Uh, what was it like playing her? What was what was your first impression? Oh, I'm so impressed by her. Um... Uh, and it's so funny because I'm so used to saying it like me and because Kathleen is just um, such a character that captures your heart I don't know she just has so much soul and warmth and all of these things that make you feel I don't know things that relatable things how you feel towards your own mother things like this so then when I move into the calling myself I I feel like I'm giving myself the biggest compliments I'm like, <laughs> Well, um, but objectively, taking a step back, um, it was from the offset, um, from the words in Michael's script and when you read it. Um, right when I was auditioning for it, you know, like I had an episode and a few scenes, I just went, oh, like this is somebody so relatable and... Um, even though she is so incredible in exactly all the ways that nearly you describe, like how amazing she is as a mom and how incredible she is as a survivor and an immigrant and how dign the dignity to which she like holds herself are all such incredible attributes. But Michael's writing was so incredible that you suddenly felt these like that a uh, Western wasn't a very far away reach, that these people were somebody that you knew or you would interact with. And then the whole story just had a completely different impact on me because I, it was so easy to be there, right. um, which completely transformed everything. And then the production had us filming on location in Alberta and like, you know, we were actually on those trails and the landscape and all of the things that Alberta provided, <laughs> not to mention all the cowboys and the horses and the wagons. <laughs> it just completely, I was like, I, I am in Western. Um, you know, I live at this time and <laughs> it suddenly was like, this is real life. This is what I actually spend most of my life doing. And it was brilliant. Well, uh one of the things about the story that really struck me, you know, early on was the fact that it's such a heartbreaking journey out West for them, uh, you know, as a family, because it really is, you know, the first step of what, what changes William into Billy or, or however you want to frame it like that. You know, how do you think that journey out West and then arriving kind of, you know, different people uh, affected their relationship well, it's it's so interesting in the like it's completely changed probably their dynamic. I think the fact that um, Paddy suffered so much with um, his mental health, which is also something that I've never seen depicted um, mm. in in a show around this time. Like I think what was so wonderful about Billy is it's 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 actually um, one based on real people <laughs> and to it's it's de delving into the formation of what is the west you know when we arrived at coffeeville and things like it would have been a tent town and the, the classic kind of connotations maybe that you would expect with a western we haven't got there yet this is almost like how it was made um and I think the journey west, which was so well done, and it was so lovely that they added who these people were and the relationship to the family and to the story. You know, we've got immigrants in New York that have no opportunities. Like the life that they came from in Ireland to begin with, to get to New York, we're already having people in survival mode who are doing quite well. They've done pretty well to get to that point. Mm -hmm. And then this journey west with them, um, with, you know, losing Patty just completely changed the dynamic between Kathleen and Billy because, um, you know, it really, it wasn't a time really to be female. 
And Kathleen, while more than capable of running the household, didn't necessarily at the time have the societal kind of go ahead to even get a loan at the bank. And I think I really loved the fact that you understood that Billy was an immigrant himself, that Billy understood what it was to be a, a, a sort of like a people displaced just looking for a better life, which is why I think he empath- uh, like his empathy or his understanding of some of the other cultures is very different to say how Jesse reacts, Daniel Weber's character reacts because he is an immigrant. <laughs> um, and then I think like there, there was just this beautiful dynamic between the two of them where Kathleen always treated Billy like her equal. Um, you know, age was sort of irrelevant and everything was very honest between the two of them. And there was a respect, you know, any decision, even when Kathleen goes on to marry um, Antrim, she describes it for what it is. She's like, I have to do this because (laughs) I need to feed you, basically. You know, everything is described very accurately to them. And for that sense, I feel like they're such a good team and Billy has the ability to see the world almost through Kathleen's gaze because he's witnessing how people respond or interact with her, which is another reason why I think he is this beautifully complex man that seems to understand other people that don't have the same rights or say or you know the system is not stacked in quite a lot of people's favor really not if you're an immigrant not if you're a woman and Billy seems to see this and understand this um, and I definitely think that relationship with Kathleen sort of um, helps with that did I answer your question or did I go in a ramble because no you know, that was I, perfect I can't be sure I, I can't be sure <laughs> <laughs> no, that was perfect. I mean, I, I think she helped shape his sense of like justice because it, it it feels a lot like in this story that justice, like seeking justice is what kind of drives, you know, this Billy the Kid character that comes out of William and like the moment he steals the pen off the banker's desk. For, for me, that feels like the first step down that road. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great, that's an interesting one. Yes, because Kathleen's so um, right and wrong. But this is what's interesting is she's given him the correct sense of right and wrong. And you're living in a world of complete corruption. But Kathleen is an educated woman. And I think like often, and it's certainly not how I wanted to play or how, how I seen the character is powerless like you can think of all the things that are completely out of her power and the things that she survives holds and carries on and doesn't give up she she, like while you might not have any power in like getting a loan or the things that she would like to do and achieve I love that she keeps saying the things that she wants to achieve and what she is striving for like she's a woman of her own (laughs) conviction and aims you know she wants to run a boarding house and a restaurant and she has these, this American dream almost. Um, oh, I've gone on a complete tangent now and I've confused myself. Oh yes, but um, the she is not powerless because she has got complete control over her self and her sense of self. And I think she teaches that to Lily, like who you are as a person. Anybody can do anything, but who she is is such a strong character. And she knows right from wrong, Like she educates him. She introduces him to characters like Ash Upson, who can see the corruption and explain it to Billy so that he's not navigating the world, not understanding it. But definitely the two of them have the hope the things that you know there's a beautiful line that keeps coming back in it that one what's important to people and he will say it's important to me to do this right and I think that's why um seems like I hope I'm not spoiling anything here but seems like perhaps like the final scene between Billy and Kathleen means so much because his actions sort of show that the person he is she really has achieved her goal you know she's got an educated son that understands the world he's navigating in and she's pushing him to like survive and be 
be a good person in, in a world that it's actually quite difficult to do that. Well, I'm curious for you, did, did you have an interest in Westerns before this? Have you like watched any, loved any, or, or is this kind of new territory diving into one? I just, I, it was new territory diving into one. I think my father has always really, really enjoyed them. And growing up, everything, like even like spaghetti westerns, those kind of things. But ironically, never had watched a Billy the Kid. Like, you know, I feel like I, you know, seen seen a quite a few westerns in my time, but I never seen any really into the Billy the Kid story, which is why when I I didn't know, like until I read the script, that Billy was even the son of Irish immigrants. Mm. So even that kind of I thought he was fictional. He was so uh, spoken about with such myth that I couldn't believe that somebody had achieved or become so renowned in such a short space of time. And I think for that reason, it's another really good reason to really understand who young Billy was, Mm -hmm. because I think, and it's so true, uh, like so many things that affect us in our childhood or who we are or the people that bring you up they put such an impact onto who, onto like who you are as a person, like all of those things add to that. Um, and I think Jonah, who plays the young Billy, did such an amazing job because so much of like our things were unsaid, um, like it's a look or a, you see, I've seen that. And that's like, you know, even if you think about now in life like who my closest friends are it's the people who see things the way I do like it's the people you have an unspoken thing they could be at the other side of the room and you go yeah. <laughs> and I enjoyed I really enjoyed that element of the dynamic between uh Kathleen and Billy that's awesome well thank you so much for the time I really appreciate it, it was